Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Been super busy, so I haven't been able to post anything in the last couple of weeks. But I'm gearing up for a few shoots uh, coming up this weekend, traveling down to Houston. But just wanted to show you guys a production that I did uh, using the FS5. I love this camera. I use it for a lot of productions, even in 2023. I have five of these uh, cameras with monitors and, and lensing and all that. And I, I use them a lot for multicam shoots as well as some corporate work. Personally, I still think they have a really good image. There's a couple of little quirks here and there just because of the age of the camera. But I would recommend it for anyone who is looking to pick up a great camera at, at an affordable price. I had a two day shoot filming corporate interviews pretty much. And it was just talking head, no B-roll, uh, just straight interviews. I think we probably had about 10 interviews in two days, so five per day. And I tried to do at least three or four different looks um, in the two days. And I was kind of a one man band on the shoot. It was just me and a director. We were given like a lobby living room area to film in. So I tried to make the space work as best as possible. We I knew we had to get a few different looks. So we started on one side of the room the first day and then kind of moved over to the other side of the room. It was a little bit of a trek uh, getting to this location. So I tried to do it all in one one trip utilizing these um, scaffolding carts that I've built. These carts are pretty good, especially if you're not very technical in building. You can literally use them right out of the box. But this was just a single camera. Uh, talking head interview shoot. I had um, just a simple lighting package. I don't have any of the actual raw footage. I didn't make a copy, but you guys can see that this is a 720p file that I was able to find online. So you can kind of get reference for framing and whatnot and kind of what, what the final edit looked like. I was a little disappointed with the, the final color grade. I wish I could have baked the look in myself. What I was seeing on the the actual day of filming looks a lot different from the, the final piece, but I still think it turned out good. There was another team that came back on another day to film some additional B-roll for the for the final piece, but I didn't have to worry about any of that. I was really trying to make these interviews pop out um, quite a bit. Everything was kind of bland looking in the room. So I tried to get a lot of separation between the talent and, and any sort of wall. And then on the wall, I tried to add as much texture as I could just to really make these shots a, a little bit more dynamic so they weren't just super flat. So I, I put a light outside kind of shining in through the window and I used some of the blinds to, just to create some texture on the wall. You could have used like a cookie or anything like that, but I didn't have one with me, so I was just trying to use those blinds and angle them down just to throw a little texture on the wall. I think if I ever do another project like this again, I would probably at least at a minimum, maybe put the LUT on the actual hard drive or what I was using to monitor um, just to get them a little bit closer so they're not starting from scratch. I know S-Log, Three is is pretty difficult to work with because um, essentially you have to overexpose the image a little bit so that it's not super grainy. But if you're not used to working with S log three, it's, it might be a little difficult to to get a good look from scratch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be traveling to Houston for a shoot over the weekend, so you guys can expect to see a travel vlog next week for sure. I'll see you guys in the next one.